so being able to leverage the tool of Airbnb, I think is one of the, the first secret, just knowing that that tool exists is I think um, really the first step in the roadmap to financial freedom. So uh, let's dive right into the number one secret to leveling up your wealth using Airbnb and feel free to tie in like your story because let's be honest, marketing and real estate go hand in hand, right? Yes, the, the yes ability they do. To market, to communicate, building systems. So secret number one or step number one for, for doing all of that. Go ahead, Jenny. Okay. Well, first of all, I think I do want to go back and, and clarify what I had said about how Airbnb is beautiful for, for anyone who knows about marketing, because they actually do all of the marketing for you uh, as, as a host. They bring all of the guests, they bring the buyers to the site. You don't have to do any kind of advertising. You don't have to do any kind of like yard signs or Facebook ads or Facebook marketplace or what or Craigslist, or whatever, all of the other kind of typical things that you might need to do as a, a real estate investor from a marketing perspective, Airbnb does that for you. They even do the vetting of the people. You don't have to do background checks. I mean, I know that's not marketing, but that's just in addition. They do kind of everything for you. You just get to be able to plug in to this amazing marketplace that has a bunch of actually rabid travelers right now. <laughs> um, so being able to leverage the tool of Airbnb, I think is one of the, the first secret. Just knowing that that tool exists is I think um, really the first step in the roadmap to financial freedom. Excellent. Yeah, very well said. And by the way, my wife and I, uh, we've done the Airbnb on both sides. We've hosted and of course traveled and it's wonderful, right? In so many yeah. ways, but, but and it's so turnkey simple like they just literally make what could have been super complex they've broken out all the steps and they keep it continuously improving it as well right yes thank you airbnb all the folks that are listening to this you guys are amazing um and uh and you're right zero advertising because they're so well marketing themselves and people are trusted you know, all of it we can go on and on okay so a knowing that it exists uh what's step number two or b so I think being able to, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, okay, let's just say for a moment that your listeners, they have a current long-term rental. Being able to take a look at, is this asset making what it could for me? Is my ROA what it could be? So being able to take a look at what the rates can handle in the market for a long-term rental and then being able to explore, hey, is Airbnb a fit for where I am? Because if it's not a fit, even though it's a powerful tool, it's not a fit, right? Um, so I actually do have a calculator if your if your listeners would like to see like okay, oh let's geek out right now that sounds great let's do it yeah again. yeah okay so I actually um, in the calculator it's at jennytownsend.com slash ltr to str so long term rental to short term rental and what I had done was I put in the numbers from a house that we used to own actually. It was a house that we owned in Lincoln, very close to where you're at, Brett. We Jenny, this is all coming back to me. We spoke about a month ago, and now yeah, I yeah. Meet so many people, and oh my gosh, now I get to meet you on camera because I was on your show. Yes, you were. That's right. Yep. Oh my gosh. So yes, Lincoln. Well, Let's go, Jenny. We're back yeah. again. We're back again. Yeah. So um, I'm back again. <laughs> yeah. So we were living in Lincoln. Loved it. Had no real plan to have an Airbnb at the time, and this is actually why I call myself an accidental six-figure host. <laughs> so we were living in Sacramento. My husband's job moved us temporarily to the San Francisco Bay area. And we, we loved our house in Lincoln. We didn't want to sell it, you know? And so what we decided to do, it was, I really believe it was a moment of inspiration. I feel like it was just God being like, Hey, like, I wonder if we could rent this place out furnished because moving to the Bay, everyone lives in like a shoebox down there. So we're like, well, we're either going to have to sell this place. Or we're going to have to rent it. We're going to like rent a storage unit. Oh, I don't want to do that. And so we're like, eh, let's just see if we can cover our mortgage. I'd be so happy. And it was like, boom, month one was profitable. Boom, to, like second month. And so we were actually in the Bay for a little over three years and we were profitable every single month. And in fact, we only had 11 vacancy days um, the entire time. And we had kind of a unique situation. I know. But the thing is, what I why I love telling that story is it is so accessible. I didn't know what I was doing when I started. I just, and we found out very quickly that we were undercharging. And so we were able to even like up level our own, what I accepted each month as like, all right, here's our goal. 
by over a thousand. Like it was, it, it grew tremendously. And so it, it was this huge, amazing blessing that we had no idea was coming our way. Um, so we were, and I share that to say, like we were looking at like, what if we did this as a long-term rental? And we had to account for um, the money that we would have spent in a storage unit. Um, but now for anyone who is in that kind of a situation, or if maybe not like they're trying to figure out what they want to do with their primary home, but if they already have a long-term rental, what could that be doing for you if it was a short-term rental? And I'm happy to send over, it's a very simple calculator. You, you enter in numbers you already know, and there's a link to a tool that will give you what your property, like you just put it in address and it'll give you um, an estimated annual salary or annual like revenue potential for that specific property, which is really, really cool. And then you just awesome. see, yes, by the way, it's genietownsend.com. It's G I N N Y Townsend T O W N S E N D.com. And yeah. then the calculator is, is a link there or, or do you need to force? So it's just, you go, yeah, I need to add a link to the homepage cause I keep talking about it more and more, but the, the URL is LTR two. So T O S T R. So if you're turning a long-term rental to a short-term rental and the example that I had was it wasn't the house that we had on Airbnb. It was just, it was, we actually lived in, we had had two houses in Lincoln while we were there. I put the first one in there and it was over a 600% increase in monthly cash flow simply by furnishing it. That's really, that's the secret. That's, I'm going to preemptively say that's secret number three, furnishing it. That's the only thing that I know of that you can actually increase your cash flow by 600% easily. That's it. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So Airbnb, know that it exists to you know, yep. get used to the site uh, or number one. And, and then and number two, uh, do like an underwriting, like find out like what are the, some of the rental rates would you potentially do yep. for that mm -hmm. area? Number three, furnish it. Okay. And then now are you still doing those now? Do you still have those going? Yes. Yeah, so we actually sold the one in California and we bought a farm out on the East coast and we have a, a couple of farm cottages that we are fixing up and they should be live by the end of this week. So we have two Airbnbs going live again this week. And I, I am so excited to enter back into it because I believe in it. I so wholeheartedly believe in it. And I feel like this is the so right cool time to be in a short-term rental for sure. Yeah, everyone want to travel when we get out. And by yeah. the way, you're in New York, right? Uh, mm -hmm. What part of New York are you in? Uh, Hudson Valley. Hudson Valley. Okay, so about cool. an hour outside of the city. Yeah. So if anyone's looking for an Airbnb, Hudson Valley, check out genietownsend.com. Yeah. Um, very cool. Um, all right. So that's step one, two, and three.